I'm back, G'day Legends, and as promised, today I'm going to be showing you how to diagnose and fix a milliamp loop fault on a flow meter that I previously installed but did not work. But first, hole cover! Okay, last time I didn't have any, and that was because it's a special order. And thanks to Jim down at CNW Croydon, I was able to get some seriously heavy duty stuff for this job. Check out this bad boy, 150 by 150 pole guard, and it needs to go on here, you see, because I need some mechanical protection to go all the way up. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, oh, very nice. Always take pride in your work, even if it is pole cover. Expelleramus pole coverus. <coughs> <laughs> I really didn't think that was going to work. <clears throat> okay, pole cover's done. And onto our flow loop fault. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, head on over to my LinkedIn feed and then check out my previous video on how I installed it. So, this is a flow transmitter, and if you remember correctly, I was able to get it working locally, but the 4 to 20 milliamp signal was not working. And with the flow transmitter head removed, you can see the flow signal here, but you can't really test the output without the head being on. So, head back on. <clears throat> Screw, 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 screw. Right, now with the power back on, you want to get yourself a regular old multimeter. I'm using a Fluke 179. That's because they're the best. Next, you want to follow that flow signal all the way up to a point where we can find a break to test it, which is there. Ensuring that you have your test leads in the right position, I have common here and milliamps, and then cycle it all the way over to milliamps here, ensuring that you have it set to DC. Now that you have your multimeter set up, make sure that you break your loop in one spot and chuck your leads in series. And with them in series, we can see nothing. Okay, let's not panic. Let's keep it simple, stupid. Let's check the settings. Okay, once again, let's hold down this button arrow thingy here, cycle through till we get to 1000 and enter. Now let's go through here till we get to output. Output. Yeah, well, yeah, current output, sure. Is off. Dear Siemens, why is this even an option? Okay, I'm clearly pushing off blame for something I should have checked before, but come on, man, why would you even want to turn it off? Okay, unlock, cycle through to on, lock again. And with our multimeter still connected, I'm roughly getting 5.3 milliamps at 1.8 megalitres a day. And what do you know, our local indicator is almost exactly the same. And if we check SCADA, we can see... What? Litres per second? Turns out the people in the office like to see litres per second, but that's okay. Let me just do a quick calculation in my head. I got it. 20 litres. <laughs> 1.72 megalitres a day. What? You didn't expect me to know that off the top of my head, did you? <laughs> okay, job done, pack up. Whew. It is hot today. And that was actually a pretty good result. I mean, it could have been a million different things, like rats could have chewed through the cable, we could have had a blown PLC, except it was just a setting inside the Siemens flow transmitter, which is on and off. I have no idea what my next video is gonna be, but if you wanna support what I'm doing, make sure you go ahead and follow me and make sure you comment and share with your friends so we can all learn more about instrumentation and the water industry. 